Hey, what's up guys? Today's video is going to be a brief tutorial on how to remove a G1 Honda Insight hybrid battery. As you can see, I've already got a lot of stuff disconnected. This isn't going to be a full walkthrough tutorial. It's just what I'm doing. Obviously, my setup has a lot of custom work, so you might not need to do the identical steps. And so, like I said, this isn't a perfect tutorial. I just wanted to give another input as to how this job is done because there's only one other tutorial video on YouTube that I was able to find for the G1. Of course, I've got all this removed. You don't need to take this panel out, but I wanted to uh, pull the carpet to shampoo it. There's gonna be four 12 millimeter uh, bolts you're gonna need to remove. You should already have the battery venting tube removed. It's one 10 millimeter screw and a Phillips head. The other screws there and there. And you're gonna go ahead and disconnect these wires. I've got the thing that holds these in place removed. It's just 10 millimeter screws. And you will release these by pulling, pushing the pop tabs up like that. And actually, I don't even think I'm gonna do that. I think I'll just pull these out of the way because I've already got them removed. So I'm gonna pull mine like that. You will need to remove this clip right here Remove this sensor, just push that down, pull out. This one should be good to go as well. Actually, no, I was wrong. I am going to remove this one. I'm going to get this out off camera because I probably won't be able to get it. What you're going to want to do, a tip, is get one of these, a little pry tool. Put one finger on the release connector and then have this help pry it out. We're also going to remove these two 10 millimeters from these braces and use a pinch clamp to pull this harness out. You're also going to remove the positive and the negative terminals and make sure you have your battery switched off. I also have my 12 volt battery switched off um, just in case. In my instance, since I have all this wiring that I don't want to try and remove, what I'm going to be doing is lifting the battery partially up and then removing these 10 mils to get the fan off, which you should not do. You should probably be able to pull this out. Just like as I said, well. I've got the bolts out for the battery. I just need to pop these clamps out as well as the ones on the side and remove the positive negatives and remove those as well. And then I'll show how to lift I it out. I don't think I saw this in the other tutorial. Maybe I skipped past it. Well, you're gonna need to remove this connector. Just push that down and pull this one I don't think out. it's necessary, but I also just remove this white pop clamp from in this bracket and the brown one from that hole right there. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this wiring harness. I'm not too sure how this one pops out. Maybe. Uh, and ignore this red box. This is something that the owner of my car did. We're trying to figure it out. Eric Powers and I, he runs the uh, G1 Honda Insight Owners Group on Facebook. Very helpful guy. Um, definitely would recommend reaching out to him if you need any assistance. And so I'm gonna figure out how this clip, oh wait, it's right there. Might need to put the camera down. Let's see, let's go wide angle on this beast. Oh, I think I got it. There we go. Not sure if y'all were able to see that or not, but um, from there, I don't think we can lift it up yet. I might try and tilt it up right now to start the removal of these 10 mils, um, but, but I'll see. I just went ahead and removed these two uh, 10 mils. Um, ignore this blue wire. This is something custom, like I said. Um, so I'm just gonna 
push this off to the side. I'll probably remove this clamp. I don't know if I can touch these two together um, and I don't want to find out. So I'm going to remove this clamp. I got this one hooked away to the side and I'm just tuck this one away somewhere over here so it doesn't touch it. I got this battery slightly moved. Um, it looks like I'm going to need to undo this wire or this this one as well. This looks like another 10 mil. Um, so yeah, get that thing off. Oh no, this is gonna suck. Yeah, you, it's just gonna take a while. I've still got other stuff holding it on, but I'm not sure what. So now that I got the fan out, or the, yeah, the fan, I've got this plugged in there. I don't fucking know what that's supposed to do. But I've just pulled that out. And then I'm going to set this to the side. And make sure you keep track of your 8 bolts. I'm going to thread them back in here. Hey guys, today is the next day. As you can see, I don't have the battery out. But I was correct in everything I said yesterday um, about the steps for removal. The reason I can't remove mine is because clearly I have a lot of custom stuff done in here by the previous owner. And what he ended up doing was, let's just make a long story short, he tapped a wire right there directly into the battery, like directly into it. So I can't remove that, or I can, but I don't comfortably and safely know how to remove that. So, yeah, I can't pull my battery until I have this mess of wires completely removed. But I just wanted to upload this just to, like I said at the start, get a second perspective on how this removal process works. Sorry if I um, was not the most helpful. I'd recommend joining the G1 Honda Insight owners group on Facebook for more help. They, I'm sure, would be able to help more than I can. Well, I'm in a whole new territory. I'm working on hybrid batteries and shit. Like, 